So here we are, Dragon Ball Z Super Card Game Beta Day 2. Before we do anything, I do want to build my own deck. Um, out of all the decks, I enjoyed Vegito the most. I enjoyed Zamasu the least because Zamasu's deck is just like, I see what they're going for. It's just way too inconsistent because you have to open small Zamasu and Goku Black, small Goku Black, both of which are really hard to pull unless you activate a time ring, which is a two drop, which just is not that good. Um, when you have Vegito over here, who, you know, not only, not only has fucking, um, a card that just pulls, uh, Goku and Vegeta straight out of your deck, but it also, um, but you also have a healthy number of Goku and Vegeta's in the deck <laughs> to actually make sure everything goes right. The only, um, issue I have with this deck is, is this card right here, is that this is a Gohan card. This isn't even a Goku or Vegeta card, so if this were a, like, competitive deck, this would not be in the build. As a matter of fact, let's see if we can find a Goku or Vegeta card to take the place of this thing. Maybe, maybe we should use, um, Okay, we have God Charge Vegeta. It's a five drop evolution. You can return a battle card with blocker to the hand. Okay. And what about Goku? That's Goku black. That's yellow. Okay, so there aren't any more small Gokus. There is this one. Your opponent cannot activate counter against this card attack and you cannot activate blocker either. Okay, but for seven drop, that's kind of expensive. So I think we're gonna keep... What I wanna do is I wanna take out these guys and we're gonna put in the Kai's. Yeah, the Guardian North Kai, just, just because it has blocker. This is going to be way better with our deck. Because um, we don't really need red energy, right? Because our... Oh, shit. What the hell's her name? Vados. Because we don't actually need red energy. We, we, we just need... You know, our super combo is for when we have a red leader. And we can easily switch this to... Um, you know... A completely blue deck, uh, other than the, you know, these three leaders. I mean, other than the three Vegito cards, because this is generic energy cost. This is generic energy cost, and he's also generic energy cost, though you won't be playing him by his effect. You'll be using a lightning speed Vegito to bring out the seven drop Vegito. So, yeah. I think uh, this is what I want to go on ranked with again. Well, not ranked, but this is what I want to go online with uh, just to get us back into the groove of things. This is what we're going to start with. Uh, so, yeah, free match. Hopefully more people got past the, the tutorial today. More people are getting in. All right, we found someone really quickly. That's a good sign. And we're both playing Vegeta. Okay. Is this my first mirror match? I think it might be. All right, so we're gonna put back the super combo and we're gonna put back one coercion because we wanna get our small guys out. So we wanna put back cards that we're not gonna use. We, we are gonna use this um, Goku, but we're not gonna use it like immediately. So it's better to save it. Okay, so we got the Kind Sand and we got this three drop here. Our opponent's going first, okay. They only they always let our opponent go first. I, I just don't know what it is. We, we, we're just not allowed to go first here. All right, we draw. We can soul charge, or we can use one of these Gokus as energy. I think maybe the three drop, it's it's just way too expensive 
for us to, you know, use long term. So we're going to play uh, you know, Kind Saiyan Sun Goku and add another Goku from top seven to hand. We didn't pull any Gokus, but that's probably because they're all in our hand, which is fine. Um, should we attack? I think we should. Um, we're not going to place cards from deck yet because again, I'm, we, we tried doing that, that strat yesterday and we, we kept milling like super combo and stuff. So I don't want to mill important cards just to potentially get, you know, um, potentially get a Goku in grave or in drop area. I keep using Yu-Gi-Oh terms. I was playing on DB earlier. That's, that's what it was. DB is dueling book for you, for Yu-Gi-Oh. All right, so he, he has his own kind sand Son Goku of his own. Let's see what he pulls. All right, so he pulled the counter trap, uh, the, the the hand trap. That's that's what it is. Let's see what else he's cooking. All right, so he's gonna attack us. He's, is he gonna activate effect? He is. Okay, so he milled one, wait. He's playing a green Vegeta. Interesting. Okay. We're, we're, we're definitely not going to defend. We, we're just going to take the attack. So we get one from life to hand. Okay, there's our Vegeta. Our two-drop Vegeta. Wait. There's no shot. Oh my god. Did I not save my changes? Oh shit. That's terrible. Because now if I put this into energy... Vegito becomes a one drop. No. Um fuck it. I really don't want to, but like we are going to have to put one of our Goku's into energy. I think this one. Man, this shit sh really should just be really should have been a fucking uh, Goku. I don't know why they put a Gohan card in your deck. A red one at that. You know, like that, that's really not doing shit, you know? <laughs> All right. Um, we can't attack as Goku. Um, maybe I shouldn't have played this so early. Uh, but you know, it just, just push for two damage. Fuck it. Um, he's definitely going to have enough energy to, and enough cards in hand to, like, do some crazy-ass plays next turn. Uh, I'm not going to use this effect, because, again, there's no point. You're just milling stuff for the sake of milling it. Like, the way that this deck plays, if you can pull off um, the Lightning Speed Vegito, you, you really don't need to mill. Like, like real shit. All right, so he charges one. All right, so he has he put the same Goku as we did into energy. It's just not that good. Neither is this one. I don't know if, if it just doesn't work on this app or something, but yeah, it's a it's a counter attack. I, I mean, in a in a deck like Vegito, maybe he should. Oh, um, yeah. So if 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 you. I was actually having this problem before stream. If the beta won't open for you, you should just reset your computer and try to see if, um, and then try to see if it works because I reset my computer and then it started working for me again. All right. Uh, yeah, we can defend with five here. We, we weren't going to use that card anyway. Oh, he's going to end with two energy? Okay. Um, so charge phase again. I really hate to do it to him, but like, there's no other good Goku to put. I mean, no other solid card to put except this one. And now that we drew this... Yeah, we definitely won't need this uh, Goku in hand. 
So we can use this Vegito skill. It's the most broken skill, I think, in this beta. Like, honestly. When it's combined with the right card. So we look at cards in our deck. And we pull one Goku and one Vegeta. So we're going to pull one Goku and one Vegeta. Confirm. And then we get to play this Vegito for one cost. But we can only play Vegito cards for the rest of the turn. All right. We send the two that can't do anything. And we get to play Vegito. And when he's played using the Union Patara, we get to draw two. All right, so we drew into Super Combo and we drew into another Patara, which is great, although way too high cost for us to use. We want to get this card into drop area so that we can um, build a situation where we can use Lightning Speed Vegito and this is already in the drop area. We don't have to worry about milling it or anything. So we're gonna attack with Vegito first because uh, we're, we're not gonna use this effect to mill or anything. We already have the card we want to mill in hand. So we don't have to, you know, waste extra cards in our deck to, you know, make it happen. All right. So he, he's gonna use one to block. Which I don't think it was good that he used the one that he had on, on field, because now that limits his potential to summon his own Vegito. But, you know, all the more power to him. Uh, we're going to attack with our Vegeta. And step. Now he's down to four life. He will be able to awaken. He has nine cards in hand. And I think he will awaken. That's going to put him at 11. And then he's going to need 10 to block. Bro, the Broly decks be really good at control. At fucking hand control. If you, if you don't stop them early on. Like not 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 a lot of these decks have a lot of good um, defensive cards that aren't just like attack negations. So the Broly deck is really good. It doesn't. It also doesn't help that even if you negate someone's attack, their auto skill still goes through, which is just insane to me. Like it's still like one of the most insane things about Dragon Ball, uh, Dragon Ball Super, in my opinion. All right. Um, it looked like he blocked that attack because he's still at four life. And now that he's awakened, I mean, this Vegito isn't too scary awakened if, you know, they don't have the setup, but he's going to have four energy and he has 10 cards in hand. There's no way he doesn't have the Vegito play at this point. Oh, <laughs> the, the, the Zamasu Pornhub model doesn't load in the, the model where he has like the, the huge ass, you know, arm from, you know what? All right, so he's going to start with a Vegito of his own. So it does look like he has to play. But I mean, if he triple strikes us, I, I don't mind. I don't I, I, I'd get three cards to hand, you know, that would that would make us even if anything. I'm not going to stop him from attacking me this turn, just straight up. Yeah, no problem, man. You know, that's that's what I'm here for. He only played a Goku. Why did he only play a Goku? There's no shot he doesn't have. Why did he use it twice? What the fuck? Does this guy know what he's doing? Oh, okay, and, th and then he gave up. He probably realized um, that he messed up, but you know, it's all right. Neither loads in, it's just nothing the whole match. Wow. I, I don't think this game takes up like too much, you know, uh, memory on your PC. I, I I don't I don't see why it wouldn't be loading in. Let me uh. 
let me try Zamasu. J j just to see if if it loads in for me, I guess, you know, so you can at least see the model. <laughs> um, oh, actually, let me just edit this deck real quick because I, I know. All right, so I put in the Guardian Kai's, I put in Weiss's Coercion, I put in the Vegeta's. Okay, we, we, we should be good. Um, any other cards I want to put in? Oh, I didn't mean to put that in. Blue Vegito. Fire more energy and your leader. Oh, this and my leader gain 5k. That's not bad. You see, this is a bit of a stall deck, so actually this, this might be... This, this Light of Hope Trunks might actually work here. Um... And then there, we actually have two blue blockers, which is crazy. If we put this trunks in, we'd we'd actually have good good reason to put this Mai in as well. But we're already at fifty five. Holy shit! Okay. And we also don't want to clog up our deck too much because we have to. This guy only looks at top three for some reason. Every other card in the fucking game looks at top seven, but this guy says only look at top three when you want to pull a god. I don't know. I do want to try at least at least two of them. Um, I'll, I'll take out maybe one of each Vegeta and Goku. Like these these are practically the same card because Vegeta is at 20k and he's and he's a two drop, and Goku's at 20k and he's a two drop. They're practically the same card. Like I don't, I, I guess I don't need to play both of them. Put two trunks in, and yeah, we're still at 55. Okay, that's that's good. That's good. And let me fix this real quick too, because it didn't save me taking these out to put in the Kai's. Where are the Kai's at? There you go. Save. That's how it's supposed to be. Good. All right. Now set to Masu. And let's play a game. <laughs> the Zumasu file isn't real. That's gonna be the next One Piece meme. Sadai Soldier. All right, he's playing Goku. This Goku is really good. It lets him untap his his fucking energy every turn. Okay. We got the small Zamasu. And no, we don't want to shuffle that back. We got Vegeta too. The thing about these Zamasus is that you're going to want to stall with these. So we're going to put back the Goku Black Rose because he's way too high cost for us to use right now. And... Because we got this Amasu, we won't need Goku Black. Because he, if Zamasu's in play in your battle area, yeah. We'd have to play this Amasu before we play this Goku Black to be effective, basically. Which kind of doesn't make sense. Um, and he, when your opponent attacks, delete a card, it's a or Goku Black, and play some card hand drop if you negate that attack with you. Oh, he's the one that negates attacks, okay. And he has indestructible. So he can't be destroyed by anything. So I think we're, we should just shuffle him back, honestly. The rest of our hand is fine. Okay, we got another Goku Black. All right. Well, uh, there's your Zamasu model and 4K. Oh, I'm going first, finally. Okay. Uh, we're going to charge Goku Black. And we're going to turn end because we don't want to waste our one energy on a one drop Vegeta. Wait. No, actually, I should have played it. I didn't need to use its effect. That's that's why I, I didn't want to do. But, all right. So he gets Goku. Goku digs for another Goku. 
We're just gonna let him attack. So th this Samasu is really weird, right? You you can't awaken until your life is at two or less, right? Every other card in basically Dragon Ball Super history says when your life is at four or less, but this one says when your life's at two or less. And that's because he basically stops you from taking damage once he's awakened, which is really, it's a really weird deck. How hard is this game? So real life Dragon Ball Super is like almost as hard as Yu-Gi-Oh, where this game is the very basics, but you'll, you know, you just have to know what you're doing, honestly, um, to, to be really effective at this game. Um, I'm going to play the Vegeta, but we're not going to attack with him, which sounds really weird, but what we're going to do instead, we're going to activate the Zamasu skill. Um, we place a card from our life into the drop area, and then we draw one card. Uh, so I place one, we're going to draw one. Another Zamasu, okay. Whatever. Uh, attack into Goku. Let's see if he defends. Alright, he doesn't. So hit him with one of them spirit ball thingies. And then, uh... We're going to turn in there. The, yeah, the, the tutorial isn't even good at teaching you stuff because it's like, it's just blocks of text on the screen. I feel like they need to come up with a more intuitive tutorial, you know? About like resource management and, you know, why you shouldn't have blocked too many attacks early because um, blocking attacks early is sort of, it's sort of redundant. You know, you're getting cards from life to hand even though your life is going down, it's not like a bad thing that you're taking attacks early on in the game. All right, there we go, Goku Black. L look at how many high level shits this deck has. Oh my God, it's just way too much. All right, Majin Buu. Oh, he just stopped attacking, okay. Like, this is, it's funny, like, this is a stall deck. You want to attack as, as much as you can. You don't want me to, you know, fucking, um... Spend more turns. Like, you, you don't want to spend more turns with this deck. You want to KO this deck as soon as possible, trust me. That's the best way to play against it. Uh... Five or more energy? Okay. We're gonna put one of our Zamasus into the charge because we have three of them and we're not gonna play all three of them. But we are gonna play one right now. Because it has the indestructible skill, so this allows us to attack basically without worrying about him getting KO'd by our opponent next turn. Tutorial one, holy shit. Um, you know, it's funny, they actually have an app for the tutorial, so I think after the beta is over, um, I'll make a video about how to play Dragon Ball Super using the tutorial app that they made like all those years ago, which is better at showing how to play the game than this is. It also, I think it has a better UI as well. All right. We're gonna attack here as well. We're not gonna boost up. We want to keep as many cards as possible. Let him do his thing. We're not going to use this Vegeta's effect yet. I, I I know like we've been sitting on him, but we, we can't use him yet. Sadly. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll definitely make a tutorial video for you guys after the beta is over. But, you know, the beta is only just two days. So, you know, uh, after I make the tutorial, why is he playing two of these in a row? Bro, what are you doing? What was bro cooking? 
um, it'll be easier for you guys to, to go back through this footage and see, you know, and understand exactly what it is that I'm talking about. Um, we're we're, we're going to let him attack. We, we want to get down to two life with Samasu. We also want to draw our blockers because if we don't draw our blockers, then we don't play the game. I mean, it's harder for us to stall if we don't draw our blockers. Um, is he going to boost this Vegeta? Okay, I was about to say, bro, you don't need to boost this thing. Like, I'm just taking it. Okay. Dude, we keep drawing this fucking Zamasu's. I swear. It's so annoying. Another Goku. He has seven. Yeah, there's no limit to the number of cards you can have on your field. Okay, we drew the good Zamasu, finally. Um, but it's a Batara. Uh, we're gonna put one of these six drops down because we have like way too many six drops. Um, yeah, put this down as energy. And we're gonna play this Goku Black. It's at 10k, right? And basically this, this Goku's Black, his effect is that, um, as long as I control Zamasu, right, which is, uh, you know, this one right here, he can't be KO'd or removed from the battle area by my opponent's skills. And this Zamasu has indestructible, so this can't be destroyed by anything as well. So these two are free to attack. Now, the reason that's so good is because you see this Vegeta in rest mode. When, when you attack with a battle card, it goes into rest mode. And when a card is in rest mode, it's vulnerable into being attacked. Normally, you can't attack cards um, unless they're in rest mode other than leaders. So you can always attack a leader, but you see how he has all these Gokus and Majin Buu sitting on the field. I can't touch them by battle this turn, but I can attack them. Uh, I, uh, but I can uh, attack the leader um, even when it's in active mode. Not the not these guys. I can only attack his Vegeta. Now, um, once he gets down to four life, right? Um, each each leader has this thing called Awaken. When your life's at four less, you draw two cards and flip it over, right? And he's going to flip over into this Son Goku, and he's going to have 15k power normally, so it's going to be harder to hit him. If you want to hit someone, you have to have either equal or higher power. And if I try to attack with a 10k, then I'd have to waste resources to make it work. And at that point, it kind of isn't worth it. So here's what I'm doing instead. I'm going to start battling with my Goku Black because it has 10k, he has 10k. If he blocks this, he's going to be wasting resources to, to block an attack that I don't care about. Now look, now this guy has a lot of resources. Six cards in hand, he has seven different cards on board. He has a lot to work with. Now, you see, it, it even tells you that he can flip over now, but the rest of my attackers are going to be at 1500, right? Because I'm going to attack with this, well, we're not gonna attack with Vegeta yet. We're gonna attack with Zamasu. It's gonna be 15K, and we're not gonna boost him or anything. We just want to slowly pick apart his hand size. Because he has a massive hand and he has a massive board presence, right? And it's only one to block, which is fine. I don't mind. As long as, long as I'm slowly chipping away at his resources, I don't mind. I can play the stall game. Now, I'm going to attack with this Vegeta here. And so this Vegeta has an effect, right? And there are a lot of one drops like this where you add a card from your life to your hand, which is optional, right? When this card attacks, you get 10K power and double strike. Double strike means you do two damage instead of one. So this would threaten two life from him if this attack were to go through. And it, it would put him at 15K, which again, he will need something to block this. So at the start of the attack, he didn't have any counter card. He didn't have any counter attack because he has no energy to use a counter. So we're going to add a card from our life to our hand. Make him 15k. And we're going to boost him with a 10k 
so that he has to waste resources to block this. There's no way he's going to let this go through. Well, I don't want to say no way, but I doubt he's going to let this go through. Yeah, here we go. He's using his, his own super combo. And so you can only play four super combos per deck, meaning we know that he just used one. We know he only has three left. And now our Zamasu, which um, we know since we uh, took away uh, energy or not an energy, we took away one of our life with this Vegeta. Now we can flip over Zamasu because our life is at two or less. And he gets the, you know, giant purple bulky arm. And this Zamasu is crazy. Basically, instead of taking life, we have to mill five. So anytime he would attack us to threaten for game, we just mill five instead. And we have 33 cards left in deck. Um, So we're going to have basically, we basically have six extra life at this point, right? Because we have 33 cards in deck. And we just drew a block or two. Oh my god. I'm, I'm playing this shit immediately. Because uh, we have one Weasus Coercion. We do have a Patara as well. I, I want to save this. Th this Patara is really good because it only costs two. But I, I do want to save this. And this Light of Hope Trunks. Because we can definitely survive the next turn. We can survive one more turn at the very least. So next turn, we're going to have five or more energy. We put this Trunks down. Our Zamasu is going to be permanently 20k, so it's going to be even harder. He's going to have to spend more resources to try to have to attack it. And uh, we can just completely oppress him with, you know, blocker, super combo, least coercion, and just stall him the fuck out. Um, but yeah, so we're going to start attacking with Zamasu now because one, he's at 15k, and two, when he attacks, we get to draw a card. So we drew another Zamasu here. We're not going to boost our Zamasu because we want to keep this hand presence for our opponent's turn. We can't threaten the game this turn at all, so there's no reason to waste all of our resources into one attack that doesn't mean too much to me. You know? If he blocks us, he, he blocks it. If, if he doesn't, he doesn't. I, don't, I, I could care less. Um, so our final play for the turn is going to be summoning this Guardian North Kai. It takes one energy, and the reason why I play this is because it has this ability called Blocker. Basically, uh, whenever my opponent attacks one of my cards, I can activate the Blocker skill, and they have to target this, this Kai instead. But it has to be in active mode for, for me to activate that ability. And that'll be all. So now we have, we keep one energy in our energy pool so that we have this attack negation live for the for the rest of our opponent's turn. He's gonna have a lot of things that he can do because he can re reactivate two of his energy every turn. So look, he, he's, he has the Light of Hope Trunks, the same card that we have, but he doesn't get the boost. And he's going to attack our Vegeta here. I really don't care about this Vegeta and one less attack to my Zamasu is honestly a mistake on his part because what what's this what's this Vegeta gonna do? It's gonna what be 15k double strike? Like cool. So we're not gonna activate blocker because we don't care about this Vegeta. And it would be too easy for him to, to defeat this Vegeta. Look. Just he, he has three different 5Ks to hit this Vegeta with. Like there's no point in protecting it. If anything. I'm surprised he didn't use one of his 5Ks to attack at first, because that's what I would have done. 5Ks normally can't attack anything, so they're sort of, they sort of just sit on your board. But if you can spend one or two in the attempt to, you know, stop, you know, a damage from happening, that's that's like the best thing you can do. Okay, so they declared an attack on our Zamasu, and again... Um, we are not going to block her here because this, this Goku has no effect. There's, there's no double strike or anything that we're scared of. So we're just going to let him attack so that we can mill five. Because that I would need 10k to block that. And that's just not worth blocking at that point. All right. So now he's going to attack with leader. We are not going to counter yet because 
Um, it doesn't matter if we countered because uh, he would he would still be able to switch two of his energy to active. So it really just does not matter. He's going to draw one, reactivate two of his energy, and we're not going to block her either. Now let's see let's see if he boosts. He doesn't boost, so that means we only need one to block actually. And if that's the case, do we have one to block? We do have this Goku, but this Goku is very valuable. Actually, no, we basically this Vegeta and this Goku are the same thing. So I will, I don't know, uh, put down the Vegeta just so that we don't actually have to take any damage. The longer we can stall, the better. All right, so now he's playing a, a Kai of his own. It also has blocker, but we, we, we do have a card to deal with that. He has two blockers. Okay, we don't have two cards to deal with that, but he left himself with one energy. So we we are it, it's we kind of know that he has something cooking. Um, so we're going to put the six drops of Masu into our energy because it's kind of useless in our hand. And this turn, we do get to play our Light of Hope Trunks. Hmm. When you play this card, if you lead a card, it's a monster go back and you inflict two damage to your life. And if you do, take your energy, switch into active mode. We can definitely save this for next turn. If we if we have more than ten cards left in our deck, we can save this for next turn. Um. Because now I'm thinking about it, I'm like, okay, if I put this Light of Hope trunks down, right? So leader is going to be twenty k. He's going to be 20k, and I threat him with two 20k attacks. Next turn, I don't have much I can do to actually stop him. Um, and there is no one drop we can play this turn. I do wish we got another um, Guardian North Kai. We can just raw play this card from our hand, actually. Instead of Light of Hope Trunks, we can raw play this and get rid of one of his uh, blockers so that he has to. But no, if, if we do that, then. Mm. You know what? We're going to play Trunks. We're going to play Trunks. Light of Hope Trunks. So now both him and Trunks are going to be at 20k. And you know what? We're not going to attack with Trunks. So that he has to commit to... Um, to He has to commit resources. Actually, no. He's going to have plus 5 energy as well. Shit. Yeah, he did the same thing we did. Holy fuck. Okay. He was definitely thinking ahead. And we only have one blocker. So the question is, can we actually threaten game? Oh yeah, I definitely should have played this Amasu to put his um, trunks back to deck. That, that would have been the better play. It's all right. Um, we're gonna attack for 20K, just so we can draw a card. I think he might take it. I don't think there's a reason to blocker this. If he wants to use a super combo, he can. But I don't think it's... Oh, okay. He'd see, he's he's going to combo. Alright, so he blocked that. Uh, these guys are at 20k, so we'd have to combo to... Get up to their level, so... We are going to attack with this Amasu, like that's definitely a given. I do wish there was a way for us to re-get energy, because then I could play this Patara without feeling bad about it, but it doesn't seem like there is. Okay, so he's going to combo again. He's going to use up all his some of his resources on board. I don't mind. And then... Yeah. We have 25 cards left in deck. So for us to be able to win, 
for, for us to be able to use this Goku Black, we'd have to have over 10 cards, meaning we would need to only take two attacks next turn. So we have to block everything else. And then we use this to, to push for game. We get rid of his two blockers with our twos and Masus and push for game from there. I think this is all we can do this turn to be safe because this, th this really can't attack into anything. These are at 20 K and he's at 15 K. Uh, and I don't want to use a card from hand. I could potentially use the block to just hit one of his attackers that he can guard for anyway. Um, so yeah, yeah, we're, we're definitely gonna have to pass right here. Now, the thing about this Amasu that I kind of miscalculated is that this, um, his ability is mandatory, right? I, I don't get to choose whether I take health or I mill the top five, meaning this two life I have won't matter because I, I will end up milling out my deck. Oh my God, his fucking Goku's at 30k. Um, I will end up milling out my deck if if we take all those attacks. Okay, uh, so he attacks with 20k. We're, gonna, we're not going to use blocker either. Um... We are going to super combo. You know, super combo is risky. Because we don't want to pull more cards from deck. <laughs> like, it's kind of funny. All right, so we're going to guard that. Okay, so I definitely know for next game, the play is to get down to one life. The play is to get down to one life before you actually awaken. Because at two life, I could have added another card for my life to my hand that I'll never see this game because I will not have the ability to, um, use it during, use that shit, you know, or like grab that shit. Okay. So 20 K to attack. He has one, two, three, four more attackers. We can take four attacks, like, honestly. But the question is... Oh, this is only during your turn. Okay. So this isn't during... So he won't be a 30k during my turn. Okay. I think I should just... Let him do his thing. I'm not gonna counter or blocker. Instead, I'm just going to one drop defend. Hmm. I don't think we'll be able to resolve this, this game. Because how many attack negates do we have? We have one, two. We have two attack negates. And he has four attacks left after this. I don't think I'll be able to resolve this. So it's better to use this now. All right, another 20K. I think at this point we just start taking attacks. There's nothing else we can do. I, I don't think. Right, mill five. We're at nineteen, so we can only take three, three more attacks. We can only take three more attacks. Uh, so 
that's 20k. I don't want to get rid of these Amasus because we want to get rid of his blockers. But, shit. Yeah, fuck it. We're not going to block her. We're not going to negate the attack. We're just going to take it. Twenty K. Yep. We're going to take it. You know what? We should have blocked that one. Because that was... Actually, no. He might still have one one more card after this. So we're going to block her here. We're going to pass on the counter. And we're going to use blocker. Yep. Yeah, I think my misplays cost me the game. I was not, um... I was not fully in tune, basically. Oh my god, he has a third blocker. Okay. Yeah, we definitely lost. We definitely lost this one. We can't get rid of three cards from his, from his field. Uh, we're gonna charge his time ring. It's worthless. Um, because even if we get past his three blockers, we have to hit him for three, three damage, and none of our cards have double strike. So... It's like, either we spend five damage. Either we spend five energy to make this Zamasu the alert god, or... Like, yeah, that's it. What do we have in Grave? So we have... I wasn't even paying attention to what we've been milling. We've milled three Weiss's Coercions. Holy fuck. How many super combos are in our drop area? Um, one, two, three, four. Yeah, we have no super combos and no Weiss's coercions left. Um, I don't think there's anything we can pull from our deck that's actually useful here. Um, yeah, let's let's attack with Zamasu. There's there's no. There's no way we win this. All right, Weiss's coercion. Nice. Whoa. Whoa. Goku back into Masu. Shit, we need seven energy. We only have six. man so close we we were so close from actually having a fucking play um okay uh let's attack with this trunks do we attack as attackers is that even a play no there's 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 not much we can do like, even if we attack, like, even if we get an attack off on one attacker, assuming his three blockers, like, just don't cuck us completely. Um, because he's only used one Weiss Coercion and one 
super combo. He's he's well off. There's no way these cards in his hands are not just like some of the best cards in this deck. Like with five cards left in hand, I'm assuming there's at least one super combo. Um <laughs> the yeah, or one Luis coercion in there. So well let's 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 attack. See what he does. He might take this. Okay, no, he's gonna block her. That's that's fine. Yeah, all these Amasu cards, their their evolutions are like way too expensive. Um Attack with Amasu here. Counter? Okay, Weiss's coercion. That's his second one. So he's used two of them now. It's good that he's used one blocker actually, because now that allows us to play this Samasu without worrying about the consequences. We're gonna attack with this Goku Black. We might as well get some use out of it because we have no, we have no other play. Um, we're gonna combo with a five drop, one to block. He's gonna let it hit. Holy shit! Okay. Um. So now we can Patara Fusion for. This Samasu right here. And then when it's played, I choose one of his cards in his battle area. I put it in the bottom of his deck. We're gonna choose one of his Kai's, obviously. Now I could be funny and play this raw for four energy to put his other King Kai back, but I'd have no other play for the turn. Oh shit, my timer ran out, holy shit. God damn it, you know what, yeah, the timer ran out. I wasn't even paying attention. I should have let his animation play or something, but yeah. We're just gonna have to hold that. You know what? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna bring this deck up to... I'm gonna bring this deck up to 60. 